Hello everyone and welcome to the Chassis Variant Series with myself, Critical Rocket, and we're on with the Hunchback 2Cs. Now, as a bit of a preface to this one, there's only one video in the series, mainly because it's actually very difficult to make any of the other official Hunchback 2C variants that are in uh, MechWarrior Online, because the ones that are currently available, the A, the B, and the C, are not canonical. They are made up by PGI because at the time of them being introduced, things like heavy lasers and ATMs didn't exist, so they had to make their own variants, and you're also talking, I think, when they came in, we still had the old skill system, so they still needed three mechs for you to get mastery. So, with the update with heavy lasers and ATMs, we sadly didn't get the other official Hunchback 2Cs, and these range from the Hunchback 2C 2, 3, and 4. Uh, this video is for the Hunchback 2C 2 which was a build that came with four heavy large lasers and two ER mediums still in the CT. Uh, obviously this is an incredibly high damage but also really high heat model and actually is uh, referred to uh, the same way as the Inner Sphere does, it's called the Swayback 2C uh, because of its emphasis on all lasers and removal of the ballistics. So it's one of the more unique visual uh, Hunchback models, obviously PGI tried to make their own version with the A variant that they created by making an all-energy one, but sadly uh, they, they're they just sticking with that and they're not going to give us those other versions. Now I was originally going to try and make the 2C3, which is an ATM-12 model, comes with three of them and two ER mediums. The problem was the head has one of the ER medium lasers for some reason and the other one remains in the CT, so I couldn't build it uh, to official spec, so I didn't do a video for that. Probably once I finished all of the official videos, I'll go back and I will probably make the 2C3 when I'm going back through. If uh, It's to give PGI time that maybe they'll add them in the future, I know that's quite unlikely, but maybe. Um, and if all else falls in, yeah, I'll do the 2C3 and, and I'll add that to this list as well with the head mounted laser being in the CT. But for now, there are plenty of other mechs that I can get through after this that have official variants that are in the game, and I'd rather get through them before I start messing around with ones where it's not strictly canonical with the hardpoint placement. So, as to give you an idea on that, sadly the 2C4 can't be made because that uses the clan version of rotary ACs, which come out uh, a little bit later than the timeline we're currently in. So I couldn't build that, even if I wanted to, because they're not available. Uh, so yeah, it's just the 2C2, and I mean, it's good damage, but it's really, really hot, and um, you have to fire them chain. Uh, for God's sakes, don't, if you do build this, don't fire them all at once. Really don't. You, you will be shut down for about a week, and you could get so many more matches in in that time. It's uh, it's one of those kind of peek-and-shoot builds, uh, at least in Mech Online. Line. Obviously, on tabletop, it's one of those things where you go, like, oh, fuck, I'm firing two of them things, just blow a limb off the mech pretty quickly, but in this game, yeah, it's, it's not recommended uh, firing it very quickly. And through my performance, through the majesty of my performance, you will see uh, why that's a bad idea. Uh, to fire them too rapidly. It, it's it's fun. It's a good knockabout build. It's silly. Um, it, it's not. It's nowhere near as good as the the 2C, the standard one with the UX, because you could just get much more efficient ballistics fire out of it than what you can get from this. And obviously there are things like medium pulse builds and all the rest of it. See, this is why this one's a tough one to do because I'm using an A, the A model, which has already proven itself to be quite popular as as the B model as being a missile variant, so there's not a hell of a lot really to discuss with this one because it's not... I'm building it off something that isn't actually in the game, which is kind of irritating. I wish PGI would go back and uh, just maybe maybe retrofit, maybe remove the A, B and C and add the two, th 2 and 3 into the game? Is it that... would it be that difficult? I mean, it would just update people's existing ones to those models and that would be... It, you'd still have them, it's not like you lose mech. Maybe even... Maybe make the A, B, and C legacy variants and have the others available for C bills, you know, not not for mech credits kind of thing. So if you don't feel like you're getting gypped, I don't know, something like that, It'd be more fun. But uh, yeah, it's it's a it's an alright build. As I said, it's it's just a bit too hot, and uh, when you're getting pelted repeatedly, I think it's like fucking direwolf with with uh, lots of ACs or something with rotaries. I can't quite tell. Rotary twos anyway. Uh, it, it don't last long. Obviously, you got all the usual problems. They'll shoot your hunches, they'll blow your side torsos off because the hunchbacks, um, they, they shed side torsos like nobody's business. Uh, and it's not very fast. Uh, that's the problem with it. It's a very slow mech, unless you, you, you have to have a relatively uh, small engine to fit the 
amount of heat sinks and uh, weapons to uh, be able to run the build. One thing I noticed actually when I was building it uh, was when I got all four of the heavy lasers installed, it actually told me I needed more heat sinks. It didn't tell me up until I think I installed the third one. And then I guess the heat efficiency dipped too low. And <laughs> the game suddenly tells me, like, ah, oh, you're gonna need more heat sinks before you can run this. So I'm like, ah, oh, okay. So that's the first time I've ever had that in uh, in the mech bay before. Sorry, in the mech lab. And uh, so th th there was that. I discovered something new. It was a feature. Oh yeah, it's a feature of uh, Mac Warrior Online's Mac Lab. Uh, outside of that, uh, not much to say. Uh, other than I wouldn't really recommend this build. And uh, apologies for this week only having the one video uh, for the chassis variant series. Obviously, next uh, next week we get into the Black Lanner. So uh, that the new clan mech that will be out and. I'll be running whatever uh, versions of that will be available. I haven't actually uh, had a look at the pack more recently, but I think I think there's two or three that I can make a chassis video of. So this is this is a calm for the storm. So you know, as I said, if I could build the three, I would have. Uh, but yeah, there you go, bloody blackjacks, spamming them machine guns. Well, that's that. So uh, I'm down. Uh, you can watch the rest of the match, and uh, it's bloody incursion. So. You know, gotta wait until everyone's dead and then shoot the base. Sorry, I'm gonna talk a bit about incursion. That's what I'm gonna do. This is going on. So I know there's this big balance discussion going on at the moment with uh, videos like uh, the unfunning of MechWarrior by Mech the Dane. And I've said in the past, you should check that out. If you, if you haven't, have a listen to it. It's quite good. It's uh, it's an insightful one uh, that uh, talks about a lot of the the sort of grounded issues that MechWarrior's had for a while with regards to weapon balance and time to kill and all that. All that good stuff that the community's been talking about for a long time to Russ and Co, and he's finally listened to it. But my, my gripe is currently with Incursion. This is a mode that doesn't make sense to me in the, in the when, when it gets to the end of match period. They're all dead. So from a realistic standpoint, what army, right, sticks around to say, well, we've driven them off the field, but we haven't shot that building over there. So we haven't won yet, lads. It's still on a knife edge. It could go either way. Because that's that's the logic that this mode is currently running on. If they're all dead, I don't need to shoot the base. Because they're all dead. It's the same with bloody Conquest. You know, they're all dead. They can't capture the oil derricks anymore. Can we just count it that we won? Because that's all the all the modes are just deathmatch anyway with a different different set dressing. So I don't know, I'm in favour of just making it that once all the enemies are dead, you win, regardless of what state the base was in. Because if there's no one left to shoot the base, then it doesn't matter if the bar is slightly lower on your side than it is theirs. Uh, I don't know. Stupid bloody modes. It may make more sense if it had respawns. Can we have respawns? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Respawns. This mode would make more sense if we could have a couple of respawns per match. So there's a bit more of an ebb and flow with attacking the base and, and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, be a bit more fun. So I think this one's about to end. I think there's one dude left or something, and he's he's running the timer down on everybody. I don't know why. Um, so I'll leave you with that. God bless. Leave you with that. Uh, have a good week, everybody. I will see you next time. Well, I'll see you for the stream, obviously, if you watch the streams. And if not, I will see you next week for the Black Lanner gameplay and uh, chassis vids and lore video. So bye, bye, bye.